come on, baby. We're talking Avengers <laughs> Endgame. The biggest movie to come out in the past, like, ten years. Yeah, a movie conspicuously absent of foot jobs, unlike the Sonic yes. movie. So, disappointing uh, off the bat, they, but I think it recovered nicely. It, it does have America's ass Ooh. in it, though. So oh, it does. So, we're, we're switching it up. Hell yeah, Brian. Avengers Endgame. I, I, I'm so glad that we're, we're, we're potting oh, again, baby, because... This is the pod. This is the pod movie that's gonna get us going again. Absolutely, and so I think wanna wanna start off with a spoiler free section that I can cut out and put on YouTube and potentially direct people to listen to the longer version of this podcast that we worked so hard on. Sure. Uh, so I'll start. I uh, I loved it. I, I I don't know if there's anyone that that openly mm-hmm. hated it. I mean, though, there, I'm sure. Oh, there's definitely trolls, someone but... out there who's just like, nope, not impressed at all. Um, yeah, it it it, expe- it exceeded expectations. I was really, I was really floored with how how good this mm. was. It was so perfectly done, and and in so many different ways, it was executed so well on a dramatic level, on a comedic level. Uh, the fact that they were at this is the movie that tied all 22 movies before together, mm. and it's it was just it was unbelievable. I've seen it twice now. Uh, certain scenes still give me chills the second time right. around. Uh, it's it's three hours long. It doesn't feel like it's three hours. It's uh, dare I say it's m- probably my all time favorite superhero movie. It's uh, something has knocked the Dark Knight mm-hmm. off, which I w- didn't think could be done. But I, this this well that, should, that actually speaks to how good the Dark Knight is. That it took like a culmination of twenty two movies to knock that one movie or that sequel to one other Batman movie off its pedestal. Which I kind of feel like that was, and I wouldn't say the consensus mm. best superhero movie ever, but it was obviously, I, I try to find someone that didn't like The Dark right. Knight. And now try to find me someone who didn't like Endgame. Yeah, and I think, you know, I, I've been trying to think about this a lot because I, I have friends who, like yourself, like I, we're, we're really into, the, we're 100% bought into the Marvel Universe where, like, we've seen all the movies, a lot of them multiple times. So this, everything, you know, made sense to us. And then I have other people who, like, are very casual. Like, they'll watch the big ones. But, uh, you know, they didn't understand some of the stuff. And I think if you're one of the people who haven't watched all of the Marvel movies and you're a little on the fence to see this movie, I think it is worth checking out the Marvel movies you missed. But you'll still enjoy this movie, even if you haven't watched all 22 films, I think. Dylan, what do you think about that? I mean, I'd say you have to see Infinity War. Uh, yeah. The, the other, the other big that this movie, this movie is made for people that have that have not necessarily seen every movie, but have dedicated the time to see most of right. the movies, especially most of the recent mm-hmm. ones. Oh, especially so, the last two that came out in between. I, I've seen some criticisms that it's it's a great movie for people that are fans of the universe, but it's it's. It's a it's an above average movie only for people that are that would be fresh to the movies. But at the same time, like I, I don't really care about the people that are just going to see Endgame as their first Avenger movie. Like welcome welcome to the MCU universe, but uh, this movie isn't really for them. Right. And and clearly, I mean the 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 box office records it's breaking within its first. We're not even a full week in. Uh, clearly shows that most of the people have bought into the mm-hmm. MCU already anyway. Uh, but. Yeah, I mean, if I would, I would say at least you have to see Infinity War because it's really one big giant mm-hmm. movie. I, I'm really looking forward to when the Blu-ray comes out for for mm-hmm. Endgame that I can basically just and I'm assuming that they're gonna come out with a box set for Infinity right, War. Right, I would Endgame imagine Endgame. slam dunk. Just just sitting back on, on like a, a hot summer day with the AC shut <clears> off, <throat> all the windows shut. Just, just sitting there, just soaking it up, just watching Infinity War and Endgame back right. to back. That's how uh, some would that, say that's how it's meant to be viewed. That's that's yeah. what I'm here for, man. Oh man, no, I I'm really excited. I think it for our original six Avengers, it really is the end. Like, no spoilers, obviously. They did justice to the original six storylines. I think they brought it all together in a very satisfying way. And I think this is, I mean, you've, you've probably seen this movie already. It made $1.3 billion, right? In its opening weekend. And, and climbing. That's yeah. So it's fucked up, dude. First, first off, I, I do, I do want to say, I, I hope we take down that, that God forsaken avatar record. <laughs> it's impossible. It's a curse, Dylan. No, no movie's going to uh, beat it. Those, 
Those fucking blue people. I hate them. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we might have to cut that. I don't know. Well, we'll have to check with some more and see what he says about it. Uh, go. <laughs> um, ever since I gave uh, ever since I gave a quiet place uh, a ninety, me and Tamora have been on, on a rock. Yeah, it's this, a rock. It ground. is tense in the in the hypothetical offices if we can get everything. No, I, I mean from uh, I'm not I'm not a critic by any means. I would say from like a critic standpoint, some of the things that really impressed me, uh, Robert Downey Jr. I thought was was so oh, good. God, he's great. Yeah. So, I mean, he, and he's he's an outstanding actor, and he's pretty much good at every movie he's been in for the mm-hmm. MCU. But this one particularly, his his a- acting performances, I guess you would say, like some scenes, a lot of these guys, they're they're superheroes, so I guess you could say they're not quote unquote acting. Right. Uh, if you know what I mean, like they're not they're not really probably like in a dramatic. It's not setting. a Shakespearean role, if you will. No, no, but in the dramatic parts, I thought Robert Downey Jr. like mm-hmm. crushed it. I thought I thought he was unbelievable in this movie. This I think this was probably Iron Man's best mm. movie in the MCU. Yeah, and I think um, this is definitely an Iron Man and Cap movie. If you had to like say like who are the main characters in this, which I think yep. it only makes sense. I mean, Iron Man I, I, was I, the first, right? I, I'd say I'd say all, all four of the of the big original mm. four got got their dues in right. this movie. Uh, Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America. I, I mean, they all. I think they all shined in mm-hmm. their own way, for, for sure. I, this this movie was was their uh, was their you know their their swan song to the to the original mm-hmm. to the original four. Like this was very very well done, and it was. I mean, you knew uh, when everyone was snapped in, in Infinity War, the, the original Avengers were left for a reason. It's because you know this this movie was was meant for them. Yeah, man, it's like the it's like the end of book one. I don't know how many books there's gonna be of this Avengers saga, but it took twenty one chapters to close out the first part of this one, and I'm I couldn't be happier with it as a fan, and I think. If you go to see this, you'll agree with us. I would hope. If you don't, definitely leave us a comment. We uh, we would love to talk about it. And yeah, is there anything so, else you want to say before I, we move on to spoilers? I, I guess only fair to give away in our uh, uh, spoiler-free mm-hmm. review. I mean, do you want to do our scores now? Um, I'll say let's say if in spoiler-free, we'll just say see it, you know, rent it or pass altogether. And that all right? Sorry, spoiler-free. You well, you gotta log. you gotta see it. And then you gotta listen to the True. whole podcast, download it on iTunes, maybe leave a rating. I don't know. We're not running a charity yes. here. Ign- ignore the Sonic foot jobs mm. comment. That was, That's that, gonna be we'll, the title we'll of the that. podcast, actually. We'll cut that. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It was well, if you, if you listen to the whole podcast, you would know. You'd be in the joke. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys, go go see Endgame. If you haven't yet, the only excuse you really have is that it's sold out yeah. everywhere. Like I, I had to sit in between a, a two, a couple on their first oh, no. date, <laughs> super awkward, and like just a family just arguing mm. the whole time. But you know what? It didn't take away from the movie, and that was the only seat available mm. in the theater. So uh, I, that's the only excuse you have is that it's sold out everywhere, which is another reason why I've never seen a movie sell out like this everywhere. Oh God, like it was literally ridiculous. everywhere I look, it's sold out, which is, it, it's nuts. Even for Star Wars, mm. I've never, I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, I thought about casually. Obviously, mine is go see it guys if you can because i thought about casually like saturday evening like oh let me let me see what's available and instead of like saying like oh the show times are blocked out i clicked on endgame and my app just said there are no showings available today (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah. i was like all right fair enough fair enough shazam has a couple yeah do you want to see uh shazam can i interest you in uh What's that new ghost movie? I don't know. New country. Uh, the Curse of La Girona. Sure. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that, but yeah, guys, when you can go see it, it's it's a phenomenon. We're probably not going to see something on this level again for quite a long while, unless Avengers does it again, which would be unreal. How much money does Mickey Mouse need, really? Oh God. Yeah. Yes. Good right. All right. So, do you wanna wanna move on to spoilers? Let's do it, baby. We, we we're going spoilers in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs>